Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have another book haul for y'all. So these are all the books that I've acquired since my last book haul and there are quite a few. <laughs> um, there was Christmas, I treated myself with some gift cards and such and also some wonderful these are some wonderful gifts from my wonderful booktube friends so let's dive right on into these books and some of them are also bookish items um and i'm just gonna be going randomly because they're all jumbled up so i'm just gonna be going one by one <laughs> okay so first i want to mention the new version of ice planet barbarians by ruby dixon of course i special ordered this from half price books because it came signed by the goddess herself <laughs> um and i'm so so happy to have this to add it to my ruby dixon cube i have a few other books in here that i'm adding to my ruby dixon cube i'm so excited um so with the book came a bookmark as well and then the back is the version of book two which i have to pre-order very soon these covers are gorgeous i love them oh it also came with a sticker but i already used it it's on the back of my ipad and look it's vectal it came with this vectal sticker isn't he cute i'm so excited to pre-order book two but um yeah i'm so happy to have this in my collection of course you know i'm an ice planet barbarian stan I, I i'm so happy to have this okay so one of the books my parents got me for christmas was with you forever by chloe lease this was on my christmas wish list and i almost have all the bergman brothers that are already out right now i still have to get the third book i think it's ever after always I think that's the one um with freya but this one is so cute this one's about rooney and axel and they get in a marriage of convenience and uh rooney has some tummy issues like myself um she has ulcerative colitis and axel is realizing that he um we just recently got diagnosed with autism um so i just love them so much this romance was so sweet it's probably my second favorite after always only you i have a, my box of like cards my friends sent me so i just want to mention them really fast because i appreciate them but so this card was sent to me by aspatia over at asparagus's reading i'm going to link everybody down below by the way but she sent me this wonderful card with a lovely note as well as two very cute bookmarks we have a snowman here holding some books it's like a magnetic one i love it and then we have some mittens holding i bet it's hot chocolate <laughs> with a candy cane this is also a magnetic one but thank you so much aspatia i i love this so much my lovely friend brie from in love and words sent me a card as well with a very sweet note as well as two of her stickers she has a sticker shop um like an etsy sticker shop and this one says proud romance you can't even see it proud romance booktuber it's very shiny and this one says all is fair in love and words and that's her channel name in love and words so i love these i'm gonna be putting them somewhere <laughs> either water bottle or my ipad or my computer we will see but thank you so much brie you are so sweet and also my lovely friend jen from the book refuge sent me a card as well um with a very sweet note so thank you so much jen i love you and also my friend spirit um she sent me a card too with a um a uh, Christmas snickerdoodle recipe in it, which was so fun. I never would have thought to include a recipe in a card, but she did that for like all of her friends. And I think it's so cute. And definitely I want to steal this idea uh, for next year, possibly. Um, but she is so incredibly sweet. Um, so thank you so much, Spirit. I love it. Also, my love from Chloe here on BookTube. Um, she sent me her family Christmas card, which I'm not going to show you because it has the pictures of her kids on there. I don't know if she wants her kids on camera. Um, but just so you know, Chloe, I got it and I love it. Thank you so much. I love you. So Valentine PR reached out to me and they sent me a Kobo. Like like a, a flipping Kobo. Like they sent me a Kobo. Like, are you kidding me? Look how pretty... It is. I haven't used it yet, but they sent it to me because they wanted me to read Mistletoe Motive by Chloe Lease, and it's a Kobo original. And so they were like, "It's a Co we want you to read this book and review it, but you don't have a Kobo, so we'll send you a Kobo." And I was like, "Okay." <laughs> and so I still have to like set it up and everything, but this this is so incredibly cool. So thank you so much, Valentine PR, for sending this my way. I am so excited to use this. I'm gonna set it up after I film today. Next isn't a new book, but it's a passed down book kind of. My mom knows how much I love baking. If you don't know, I have a gluten-free YouTube channel linked down below where I'm going to be making a bunch of gluten-free recipes. I probably have already posted one by now. Um, but so she sent, she doesn't send me, she gave me uh, one of her gluten-free cookbooks that she didn't want anymore that she thought I might like. And so I've already tabbed 
recipes that I'm interested in. Like these are just so cool because you don't see a lot of gluten-free stuff here. Like look how yummy that looks. This is vanilla cinnamon chocolate donuts. Like, are you joking? So I have tabbed up the ones we were interested in. My mom really wants me to make a cherry pie, so. <laughs> um, thank you so much, mom, for giving this to me. I feel like I'm gonna have a very big collection of cookbooks soon or baking books soon. <laughs> My lovely friend Spirit also sent me a Notorious Fat by Joanna Shoot for Christmas. Thank you so much, Spirit. This is one of my favorite historicals of all time and so I'm so happy to have it for my collection. In this one, our heroine it has social anxiety like me. And so um, she meets our very gruff and broody hero who is deaf and they have to get in a marriage of convenience and it is so cute. I love this one. <laughs> my other booktube friend, Emma, sent me A Wilderness Within by Emma Castle. And she's so stinking sweet. She did not have to send me this. I love Emma Castle. And so I've been hearing great things about this book. And it's like a book if a pandemic happened, but this was written before our pandemic. So it's like very interesting, I bet. Um, I know Jen loves this one. I'm excited to dive into it. Thank you so much, Emma, for this. I will probably read it very soon. Then Victoria, my other booktube friend, she's linked down below. Um, well, all my booktube friends will be linked down below. She sent me two books. Um, she sent me Romancing the Duke by Tessa Dare, a Tessa Dare that I love that I do not have in my collection. The hero and the heroine in here are trying to battle each other or like, trying to figure out who owns this castle. And um, the hero is blind and the heroine um, is like the daughter of this famous writer. And I love this one so much. Tessa Dare is amazing. And she also sent me Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. Are you joking me? I don't know anything about this book, but I love Helena Hunting, especially her Pucked series. You are so sweet, Victoria. You did not have to send me these, but oh. I love them. Thank you so, so much. Another Christmas present from my parents that was on my wish list. They got me a few books for my wish list. Um, is Heidi's Guide to Four Letter Words by Tara Civic and Andy Arndt. This is one of my favorite romances of all time. It is hilarious. I did want the physical version just for my collection, but you need to listen to the audiobook of this. Our heroine, she's a kindergarten teacher who just got laid off. She works for this audiobook company next. Like she finds a job at this audiobook company not knowing that it's an audiobook company for naughty books. And so she decides to drunkenly one night after drinking some boxed wine, uh, start up a podcast where she reads naughty bits from romance books to help her get more confident in her work environment and maybe also become confident enough to ask out her very attractive next door neighbor. And the audiobook is literally a work of art. You need to listen to it, please. But I'm so excited to have this in my collection because it's one of my favorite romance books ever. It's the funniest romance book I've ever read, ever. Listen to it, please. Okay, next is a fun one. So you probably don't know this. Why would you know this? But uh, growing up, I was obsessed with the book, The English Roses by Madonna. I don't know if it's actually, if it was actually written by Madonna. I don't know if it was a gross, ghost writer, whatever. Um, but I was literally obsessed with this book. I had a t-shirt and everything for it that was like embroidered and beaded. And like, I was obsessed with this book and these characters. Much of my childhood centered around this book. And there's actually chapter books written. Since I was a kid, there have been chapter books written. I put one of them on my wish list because I want to collect them so badly. So this is the sixth book. I don't know how many I have. They're in boxes somewhere. But um, this one's called Becoming Bina. Bina was my favorite character in the series or the main book. And this one I believe is about her having a crush on a guy. And it is, I, lo I love these characters so much and like their story and everything. I just felt so seen. And like I saw myself in every one of these girls. The main book and the rest of the books in the series are all about this fr group of girlfriends. I loved them. I loved all of them. I thought I was one every single one. Like I saw myself in every single one of these girls. And so I've been collecting these like slowly but surely. Um, and so luckily there was one on Amazon. So I found a few on the of them on thrift books, but I just haven't bought them yet. So yeah, and even in the back, it's funny. There's this card. I'm not gonna take it out because I don't wanna ruin it, but it's the English Roses VIP All Access Pass. I used to spend a lot of time on um, my EnglishRoses.net when I was a kid. Like it's a site, a game website centered around the English Roses and I was obsessed with them. So um, it even has the little card with it and I don't know if it works, but let me know if you wanna know if it works, I guess. But I was obsessed with these girls and this book and like, the main book in this series, like the original, The English Roses means so, so, so much to me. So yeah, I'm so happy my parents got me this book. <laughs> Speaking of my parents, uh, my dad made me something for Christmas. So um, he knows how much I love books. So my dad also carves wood. 
not professionally, but it's like a hobby of his. And so he decided to make me my own book set. I have two of the books with me. The other one is laying on my desk because it is heavy. Um, but these are two of them. Okay, so here are the spines and it's the uh, bark of the tree. And then, um, sorry, these are like awkward to hold. I'll hold one of them and show you what it looks like. Um, so this is the bark and then this is like the side front. And if you can see the, uh, he's, what is it called? Like he's like grooved out edges in it to make it look like pages um, on all of the sides. And I love it. So they're like wooden books. Um, and so he did it for this one too. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. It's hard, it's awkward to hold. Um, <laughs> but, and then there's a third one that's even bigger than this one, than these two. Um, so it's like, it like goes down the line. So I'm gonna put them on my shelf somewhere, but I'm in love with these. So my dad is amazing. And I kind of wanna tell him to like sell these. Like people would buy these. Like would y'all buy these? Because like, I think they're super fun and they like actually look like books. And I told him too, I was like, you need to make one that's like hollow on the inside. So you can like open it and people can like put stuff inside. I think that'd be really cool. My lovely friends, uh, Katie and Hannah Grace, my best friends, um, they came and visited me over winter break when I was having a very hard time with my flare up and everything, the after effects of it. And um, we went to my favorite bookstore near my parents' house that is just amazing. And I didn't buy any books because nothing really caught my eye, but I did buy a new puzzle. <laughs> this is a uh, Jane Austen puzzle and it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. I love it. So sneaking much. It's a 1000 piece puzzle and it has like all the couples like this is um, Jane Bennett and Bingley and then this one is um, Claire Dashwood, Captain Wentworth, Emma Woodhouse, Mr. Darcy obviously, Elizabeth Bennett and then there's Mr. Knightley, Anne Elliot and um, Marianne Dashwood. Um, so a bunch of the Jane Austen characters on here and it is gorgeous. I love it Whenever I do this puzzle whenever I have time and decide to do this puzzle. I'm going to Mod Podge it and um, When it's finished and hang it up It's like an art print because this is gorgeous. My lovely friend Tori over at Novel Life sent me two books <laughs> Well, she first sent me this card that is beautiful and glittery and I love it um, with a very 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 sweet note inside and so then she sent me two historical romances first we have a princess by christmas by julia london um she said that she knows i like royalty romances so she sent this one my way and that one's really pretty i love this the next one she got me is a samantha james called his wicked ways and then the step back in here is so cool i love it look how pretty <gasps> thank you so much tori i love these i'm gonna add them to my historical romance shelf down there i'm so excited thank you so much you are so sweet i love you <laughs> debbie cromack an author reached out to me to send me her book as well as some little goodies too so she sent me someone exactly like me and i'm gonna read the back for you because i personally don't know that much about it nico i skyrocketed to fame following my role in the sexy movie don mateo now i want to move to hollywood and create my american dream the problem is i don't have representation there yet and as far as love goes i was told by fate long ago i never measure up never be good enough so i live in the ultimate playboy life and i like it this way everything changes when i meet destiny carden not only does she capture my attention in my heart she also holds the key to my future we strike a deal that will give me the key at the cost of facing my fears. We strike a deal that will give me that key at the cost of facing my fears. Once the deal is struck, I'm not sure I can hold up my end. Destiny. The only adventures I have in life are the ones I create with my characters as I write their love stories on the pages of my heart. Living vicariously through them, I've had a highly success, I can't ever say that word correctly the first time, successful career for years. Problem is, I've hit a slump, a big one. After my ex-fiance broke my heart, I lost my faith that love exists. I lost my faith in myself, my love, and my writing suffered. When Niccolo Machini, I'm sorry if I butchered that, uh, <laughs> storms into my life, he flips it upside down. In hopes of turning my career around, I accept a deal with him that will give me access to his millions of followers, my ideal readers, but at what cost? As the terms of our deal play out, I refuse to be one of his conquests but I'm not sure how long I can resist him because as I'm learning, there's much more to him than the world gets to see and I'm falling. I hope I like this one. I'm kind of picky when it comes to my celebrity romances, but I hope this one is the diamond in the rough, you know? And she sent me a few little goodies too. Um, she sent me 
a card with a sweet little note in here and two stickers uh well two things that go with this book and then two things that go with another book by her so there's a bookmark that said that has a quote on here that says if you keep doing that i'm going to have to the the quote on here has a curse word in it so i'm not going to say it but sounds hot <laughs> the front quote says be in mind forever my sweet girl um and yep in the back i'm gonna cover up the curse word because we're trying to keep it pg here but and then there's a sticker too that goes along with the book that says you are the blood coursing through my veins you are the breath in my lungs that gives me life that's a quote from the book and then two other things from one of her other books um i think it's called untouchable the quote on here says i won't last if you keep doing that Ooh. and then the back says say you'll stay so there's the back and then this is the front of it very hot and then the sticker says i won't oh it's the same thing i won't last if you keep doing that very fun very fun so thank you so so much debbie for sending all of this stuff to me i feel spoiled <laughs> i also forgot to mention that her book is also signed it says ava always go after your dreams hugs and she signed it <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> another author that sent me some stuff is maggie cole <laughs> so uh this is the box that came in i'm not showing the front of it because the front of it is kind of naughty <laughs> a little bit too explicit for this channel but there's three books in this box uh i made a tiktok about this book ruthless stranger this is a mafia romance that i loved so i made a tiktok about it she reached out to me and was like i really want to send you uh a box for me and i was like of course and so she sent me these three books we have the first book in the series and i believe uh broken fighter is the second one and then uh cruel enforcer is the third one this is a mafia romance series that i know jen from the book refuge loves and i can't wait to read more in this series because i loved book one so thank you so much maggie cole i'm obsessed with these um they are of course signed all of them have this signature on here um, so thank you so much Maggie Cole. You are so incredibly sweet. Two other books my parents got me are uh, Barnes and Noble's, Barnes and Noble's Collector's Edition. I collect these like they're classic books that are really pretty and so like for my birthday and Christmas they get me like one or two to add to my collection. And so first is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Gra Glass by Lewis Carroll. I own many versions of Alice in Wonderland um, because Alice in Wonderland was one of my favorite things as a kid. My nursery, my mom painted my nursery Alice in Wonderland theme so um, I grew up loving it and so this is the front. The back is very cool. It's the Cheshire Cat, and there's a quote that says, I've often seen a cat without a grin, but a grin without a cat, that's the most curious thing I ever saw in my life. A very popular Alice in Wonderland quote. And then the spine is so pretty too. And then it has silver pages as well as there's a, there, there's also a bookmark attached to the book. So I loved this. I love this. And um, I'll definitely add this to my collection. Um, but my collection is back at my parents' house. So, but isn't this so cute? Like, the holographic stuff, I love it. I think it's beautiful. And then the other classic they got me, they got me two, they spoiled me, was the uh, beautiful edition of To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Like, this one is gorgeous. It has gold pages. The spine is beautiful. Um, I, I read this back in middle school, and I actually loved it. It's one of my mom's favorite movies. Um, like, look at the back. Isn't that awesome? Growing up, I really liked this book. I haven't read it in quite a long time, so I don't know how I feel about it now, but I'm glad to have another Barnes & Noble book for my collection. Then Samantha <laughs> sent me a book. Um, she's linked down below, obviously. She sent me uh, Lycanthropy and Other Chronic Illnesses by Kristen O'Neill. I have this on my wish list, and she says that, and on her note, she said that we chronic illness girls have to stick together, so she got me a book dealing with chronic illnesses, and I'm so excited. I'm trying to read more books that have chronic illness representation in here, so I'm really excited for this, so thank you so, so, so much, Samantha. Um, I know this is a YA book, but, um, and I don't really read YA anymore, um, but I'm hoping this can be an amazing book for me. Melissa sent me a book too. <laughs> she sent me Transcendence by Shay Savage. Melissa! Um, I love this book so much. It's one of my favorite books of all time. One of my favorite romance books of all time. I love this one. It's about Ed and Beth and Beth gets transported back in time to where Ed is. Ed is a caveman and um, he doesn't understand language at all and so they have to live together and he claims her as his mate and takes care of her but doesn't understand her and they fall in love despite this. This is one of my favorite language barrier books ever. I'm ado I adore the language barrier trope and this is one of my favorite ones 
in that trope. So thank you so much, Melissa. I'm so happy to add this to my collection. Then Zay, my lovely friend Zay, I love you. Uh, she became my very close friend on Instagram. Her page will be linked down below. Um, but she sent me Rustic Hearts by Amber Kelly. We actually buddy read this book. Was it last year? It feels like forever ago that we buddy read this book, but this one is so good. This really reminds me of The Simple Wild. If you love The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker, you will love this book. Our heroine is uh, from New York City and her dad lives on a farm, on a ranch, and um, she goes to visit him and she falls in love with one of the guys who lives on the ranch, but they don't really get along. It's very enemies to lovers because he's this country boy and she's this city girl and um, I love this and so did Zay and so thank you so much Zay for sending this to me. I'm gonna put it on my shelves very soon. The last book my parents got me was uh, Forever Right Now by Emma Scott. This was on my wish list. This is one of my favorite romances. This book will emotionally wreck you. Emma Scott is so good. I need more people to read this one because everyone's read like Full Tilt and other books by Emma Scott, but no one but me has read this book and it is so good. So our heroine here, she moves uh, to San Francisco after living a very traumatic life um, and she decides to start her life all over and there she meets her neighbor who lives I believe below one floor below her who has a baby girl he's a single dad a college student and trying to take care of a baby and um it is so good this book will emotionally wreck you like you will be sobbing all night long because of this book. It is so good and I'm so happy to add it to my shelves obviously. And the last two books I'm going to talk about are books that I bought <laughs> for myself as a little present. Um, I'm trying to slowly add more books to this Ruby Diction shelf because uh, she's like my favorite author at this point obviously. Um, so I got one of my favorites in the series that I hadn't owned yet which is Barbarian Mine which is the fourth book in the series about Harlow and Rook. This one has another language barrier trope in here um, and he kidnaps her. <laughs> But he doesn't know any languages and so she has to teach him how to speak um i love this one so much one of my favorites in the series for sure and then i also decided to add on one of the novellas <laughs> it's very 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 small this is the barbarian before christmas and this one centers around mostly centers around my favorite couple in the series ellie and beck and so i just had to get this one because i love them um but this one's very short so i'm so excited to add this to that square because i'm just trying to put all of ruby dixon's books in that square i love her if you couldn't tell and like it's gonna take me forever to collect her books but but i need to do it i need to do it there you have it that was a a very long and very large book haul for you um thank you again so much if you sent me anything you are so 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 incredibly sweet thank you for being such wonderful friends i love you all um but anyways yeah let me know down below if you've read any of these books um or if you plan to if you love any of them too i would love to know um but anyways thank you all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all